the group of architects that are, are participating in this are very specifically led and coordinated by the related company and, and Jay Cross and, and, and Stephen Ross, of course. The dynamic is a little different from the dynamic of Rockefeller Center, which was essentially aimed at creating a sort of a, a unified whole. I believe that the sense of the total unified whole is somewhat inconsistent with the evolution of the modern city. In this case, the real intention is to create a balance of parts, each of which have an identity. Diller, Scofidio, and Renfro were doing the culture shed, which is next to our, our, our structure, doing the residential building directly behind that. The residential tower and office building that David Childs for, uh, with Skidmore is designing uh, is, is a structure that has been going through a whole series of sort of uh, steps. This whole project is not just about New York City. It's also about the rest of the world because a lot is happening in the rest of the world. And New York City, in that perspective, has been somewhat languishing. And so the creation of these buildings needs to signal that in a way that is both sensitive to New York and is, acknowledges the fact that it's, this is a world-class development.